Hey guys, today we'll be covering a 2020 drama film called Switched. Cassandra Evans is a shy high schooler. She loves music and wants to audition for Juilliard's school, but has massive stage fright. Her mother, Ms. Evans, urges her to let go of her fear, but does little to no help. As the day of the audition gets closer, her nervousness rises. One day, Ms. Evans drives her to school while talking about her singing career. Cassandra loathes herself for being introverted and wishes she were confident like her classmate, Katie Sharp. Katie is the typical popular girl and a social media influencer. She's mean to everyone and cares about no one but herself. Miss Evans suggests Cassandra has a friendly chat with Katie to see what makes her so confident. Just then, a car drives past them and Katie steps out of it. Like always, she walks like she owns the school. Cassandra watches her in fascination, knowing that she would never be like her. Before she goes inside, her mother hands her a cup of coffee and reminds her to tie her shoelace. In the hallways, Cassandra overhears Katie chatting to her best friend Lorena as they talk badly about a cheerleader named Olivia. Right after Lorena leaves, Katie makes fun of her with Olivia. It is clear that she is friends with them only because they are popular. Cassandra remembers her mother's suggestion and walks forward to talk to Katie, but then she trips on her shoelace and drops her coffee on Katie's designer shoes. No matter how much she apologizes, Katie has decided to ruin her day now that she has ruined hers. Later, in chemistry class, the teacher is explaining about bacteria found in spoiled milk. Katie is busy on her phone and is called out for it. The teacher asks her to be more attentive and gives Cassandra as an example. This makes Katie more furious than she already was. She and her best friends decide to teach Cassandra a lesson. After class, Cassandra is walking down the hallway when suddenly a bag of spoiled milk drops on her. Katie, her friends, and the entire classroom laugh at her while filming videos. Cassandra runs to the bathroom crying. Her only friend Abby brings her clothes from the lost and found bin, but Cassandra is too sad to even talk to her. Later, her older brother Clay comes to pick her up and feels bad for what happened. Cassandra asks him how he knows about the prank, only to find out that Katie uploaded the video to her YouTube channel. Realizing that everyone will now know about the prank, Cassandra never wants to return to school again. When she gets home, she looks up Katie's YouTube channel and finds several comments making fun of her. People have even started to spread false rumors that she never showers. Overwhelmed by everything, Cassandra wishes to God to show Katie what it is like to walk in her shoes for a day. She doesn't think much more of it and is unaware that her wish is about to be granted. The following morning, Cassandra wakes up to the noise of a strange alarm. She turns it off and takes off her sleeping mask to see that she is not in her room. On walking up to her mirror, she registers that she has changed bodies with Katie Sharp. Katie also wakes up in Cassandra's room and soon realizes that something is seriously wrong. Both girls look into the mirror in utter shock, unable to comprehend what is going on. Cassandra runs to Katie's closet and is mesmerized by all the clothes and shoes. She then gets ready in pink clothes in a handbag, something completely out of her comfort zone. Katie's mother asks her to wear makeup before going out, but Cassandra makes up an excuse and drives to her real house. There she meets Katie who is furious that she is wearing her clothes and driving her car. The girls sit together and try to figure out how this could have happened. Then Cassandra remembers the wish she made last night. She believes that the stars were aligned when she said those words, making her wish come true. They want to go to a doctor, but are terrified they will be experimented on. So instead, they decide to go to school like they normally would until they figure out a way to reverse the switch. Even though Katie looks like Cassandra, she doesn't want to be seen wearing Cassandra's hideous jeans. So they switch outfits and go to school. Everyone stares at Katie for wearing pink because Cassandra would never do that. When she goes to her locker to get her books, Lorena and Olivia approach her and call her out for snooping around others' lockers. They think she is Cassandra, so they treat her horribly. Katie, who has always been the bully, is shook to be on the receiving end for the first time. Meanwhile, Cassandra is approached by Katie's boyfriend, Jack, who tries to kiss her. She cleverly dodges him and decides to ignore him the entire day. After that, she goes to Abby, who is shocked that the popular girl is trying to talk to her. Cassandra asks Abby to meet her after school because it is very urgent. Abby thinks she is trying to prank her and refuses. During class, the teacher asks Cassandra a question, which she answers effortlessly. Everyone is shocked because Katie was never good at her studies. The girls ask the teacher if putting an individual's thoughts in someone else's body is possible. To their disappointment, they are told that modern science is still far from developing such technologies. During the lunch break, Cassandra is followed by Katie's minions everywhere. When she asks them what they are doing, the girls apologize and step back a little. Cassandra sits with Abby, making Lorena and Olivia sit with them as well. The minions comment about Abby being a loser, but Cassandra asks everyone to be nice to each other. Katie, on the other hand, is mean to everyone, which surprises her friends because to them, 
Cassandra is shy and introvert. After the disastrous lunch, Cassandra and Katie meet outside to talk. Katie agrees to be nice to Cassandra's parents and Abby, while Cassandra promises to maintain Katie's reputation. After school, Katie wants to drive her car back home, but since Cassandra doesn't have a license, she can't. Just then, Cassandra's brother Clay comes to pick her up. It turns out that Clay was a popular footballer in high school and is still liked by everyone, including Katie. After finding out that she gets to spend time with Clay, she agrees to go with him as Cassandra. After they leave, Cassandra realizes that she forgot Katie's home address and has nowhere to go. She goes back to her house and is greeted by her own mother, who asks her to apologize to Katie for yesterday's prank. Cassandra has to apologize even though it should have been the other way around. Following that, she goes to Katie's home and meets her parents officially. It is revealed that they are full-time managers for their daughter and constantly push her to get more views. Half the reason why Katie is so mean to everyone is because her parents never loved her as a child. They only think of her as a money-making machine. Mr. Sharp congratulates her on getting a million views on the recent prank, unbeknownst to him that his daughter did it all at Cassandra's expense. That night, Cassandra uploads a video of Katie saying that everyone should be nice to everyone, especially to Cassandra. She also changes the passwords to Katie's socials so she won't be able to delete it. The following day at school, Katie is furious. She warns Cassandra against messing with her social media because it is her brand. Lorena and Olivia arrive to make fun of Katie for wearing heels. Cassandra changes her personality entirely and makes fun of Katie, just like she used to do to her. After school, the girls go to Katie's house to talk. Cassandra claims that the reason she was mean to her was to maintain her reputation. Katie likes the idea and helps Cassandra get into character by doing her makeup for her. While doing Cassandra's makeup, she explains how she started her career by making makeup tutorials for fun. Cassandra registers that Katie is actually a decent person. The problem is that her parents pressure her to make content and gain viewers, leaving her little choice but to go to extreme lengths to do so. The next day, they go to a youth group organized by Clay, where they are supposed to pray to God. Clay initiates the meeting and asks them questions about how they treat people around them. Katie and her friends give nonchalant answers about how they bully people. When no one is around, Clay mentions that he thinks Katie is beautiful only on the outside, but her insides are ugly. Katie is devastated after the conversation. However, she has finally started to realize just how awful she has been to her classmates. The next day, Mr. and Ms. Sharp pressure Cassandra to exercise and upload videos daily. They are preparing her for an internet reality show called The Grand Slam, where she is about to be interviewed. Cassandra goes to a photo shoot for the first time and is surprisingly good at it. Because she is in Katie's skin, she feels much more confident than when she was herself. Cassandra starts to forget about her old life and enjoys being a diva. Meanwhile, Katie and Ms. Evans go on a mother-daughter date. For the first time in her life, she gets the acknowledgement she always wanted her parents to give her. But then Ms. Evans suggests that maybe she should give up on the Juilliard edition because she can't sing in front of people. The next day at school, Katie meets Cassandra and tells her about her conversation with her mother. She expects Cassandra to be worried, but in contrast, she seems not to care about her old life. Later that day, they meet again at a friend's party. Katie is so mad at Cassandra for stealing her life that she confronts her in front of everyone. The two get into an argument, which soon turns into a physical fight. Cassandra insults Lorena and Olivia amidst the argument, making them turn against her. The video of them fighting makes it to the internet, and as a consequence, the Grand Slam cancels Katie's interview. Cassandra goes home to see Katie's parents waiting for her, disappointed in their daughter. She snaps at them and accuses them of not caring about their daughter's happiness. At night, she makes another video apologizing to Cassandra and everyone she has hurt till now. The following day in the school hallways, the girls apologize to each other while everyone films them hugging. The video is also uploaded to the internet controlling the damage that was done by the former video. Cassandra has five days till the Juilliard edition and is nervous because Katie cannot play guitar or sing. In the following scene, we see Katie get a call from the Grand Slam, saying that they have reconsidered bringing her to the interview because of her last video. The problem is the Juilliard audition and the interview are on the same day. On the day of the audition, the girls meet to talk. Cassandra gives Katie a matching bracelet as a gift and wishes her luck. They know that the chances of them getting through this unscathed are low, but they do not give up. Now it is Katie's time to perform a song in front of the judges and Cassandra's turn to be interviewed. They close their eyes to pray and mysteriously change bodies again. The girls quickly compose themselves and continue the interview and the audition. Cassandra gets into Juilliard and Katie comes home to her parents who apologize for their behavior. In the final scene, we see Katie and Cassandra shoot a video together for her YouTube channel.